He is known for being a prominent philosopher and mathematician in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He is recognized for his contributions to the field of philosophy, particularly in the area of moral sciences. His name is William Ernest Johnson. William Ernest Johnson, an extraordinary thinker and educator, was born in Cambridge on June 23, 1858. Coming from a family of Baptists and political liberals, Johnson was encouraged from a young age to question and explore the world around him. His thirst for knowledge led him through various educational institutions, including the Peirce School in Cambridge and the Liverpool Royal Institution School. However, his education was frequently interrupted due to his lifelong struggle with severe asthma and poor health. Despite the challenges he faced, Johnson's intellectual curiosity prevailed, and he entered King's College, Cambridge in 1879 to study mathematics. His exceptional abilities earned him a scholarship, and he graduated in 1883 with a first-class degree, ranking as the 11th Wrangler. During his time at Cambridge, he also became a member of the esteemed Cambridge Apostles. Although he initially aspired to win a fellowship, Johnson found his true passion in teaching. He held several teaching positions, starting as a lecturer in psychology and education at the Cambridge Women's Training College. From there, he became a university teacher of theory of education and a university lecturer in moral sciences at the University of Cambridge. In 1902, he was honored with a fellowship at King's College and the prestigious Sidgwick Lectureship, both of which he held until his untimely passing. Throughout his career, Johnson's impact was felt not only through his academic achievements but also through his influential students. His list of students included renowned individuals such as I, Richards, John Maynard Keynes, and Frank Ramsey, among others. Johnson's dedication to education and philosophy was further demonstrated when he attempted to mentor Ludwig Wittgenstein in logic, although this endeavor proved to be brief and unsuccessful. William Ernest Johnson's life was one of perseverance and intellectual exploration. His love for learning, despite the obstacles he faced, inspired countless individuals and transformed the field of philosophy. However, his journey was tragically cut short when he passed away on January 14, 1931, in St. Andrew's Hospital, Northampton. He was laid to rest in the peaceful grounds of Grantchester, Cambridgeshire, leaving behind a legacy that continues to shape and inspire generations to come. William Ernest Johnson, a philosopher known for his brilliance and critical thinking, faced significant hurdles in his pursuit of publishing his ideas. Despite being considered very able, Johnson's poor health and reluctance to publish meant that he had published almost nothing, as lamented by Bertrand Russell in a letter to Ottoline Morel. However, J. M. Keynes, in Johnson's obituary, offered a kinder perspective, stating that Johnson's critical intellect did not readily lend itself to authorship. Johnson's most significant publication was a three-volume work on logic, which was based on his lectures. It was thanks to the persuasion and assistance of his former student, Naomi Bentwich, that the publication came to fruition. Bentwich not only encouraged Johnson to publish but also typed and co-edited the manuscript. In the preface of the first volume, Johnson expressed his gratitude to Bentwich, stating that without her support and valuable assistance, the work would not have come together. While Johnson's logic was considered dated even at the time of its publication, Sebastian Gondon suggests that it is unjust to solely see Johnson as overshadowed by Alfred North Whitehead and Bertrand Russell's Principia Mathematica. Gondon argues that Johnson's insights are still integral to philosophy today, particularly his doctrine of determinable and determinate. This aspect of Johnson's work is extensively discussed in Jessica Wilson's entry on determinables and determinates in the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Aside from his work on logic, Johnson also delved into economics, publishing three papers on the subject. His paper, The Pure Theory of Utility Curves, was considered a significant advancement in utility theory. Additionally, Johnson contributed numerous entries to R. H. Inglis Palgrave's Dictionary of Political Economy and influenced prominent economist John Maynard Keynes. Despite his challenges in publishing, Johnson's intellectual contributions and profound insights continue to shape contemporary philosophy. His legacy extends beyond the written word, inspiring scholars and philosophers to delve deeper into the realms of logic, determinables, and economics. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.